Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. Don't mind the background noise. It's loud here today. Um, so anyway, you're gonna hear TVs and kiddos in the background, FYI. So hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am, it's a little bit gloomy outside today, but that's what happens in the fall, right? Fall time comes, we get rain and chilly weather. That's when it's nice time to be cozying in in the bed with some hot coffee or hot chocolate, turning on the fall Christmassy movies. It's getting that time of year, folks. Getting that Hallmark time of year. Okay, I want to dig into this really quick and explain why I bought this. So, it this did come in an Amazon box um, with some other things that were householdy things that, you know, didn't really need to show on the channel. So anyway, I just pulled this out of the package to open it separately. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Get the plastic wrap off. And figure out which way to open it. So this is a storage container system for diamond painting. It is a Tic Tac container storage system. Never had one of these before. So I'm anxious to try it. Ooh, come with some nice little goodies. So we got a little white tray. Uh, we get some baggies get some tweezers, and we get some labels. Nice square white labels for labeling your boxes. Okay, so the reason why I purchased this, I use mainly Harbor Freight containers, uh, but I also use, I have one, hold on a second, let me tear that plastic off. Ooh, that's kind of cool, it's got a little dent right there. But I use mostly um, Harbor Freight containers for my diamond paintings. And I also have um, one set of the Elizabeth Ward storage containers. They, When I bought my Elizabeth Ward, they were like $18 on Amazon for the, uh, the set that's got like the small, medium, large, and extra large containers. They like the teeny tiny ones all the way up to the great big one. Um, they were like $18. I should have grabbed like three or four of those bad boys then because little did I know that a couple of months later they were going to pop up to $40, which is crazy, right? But anyway, um, those are what I use mo mostly for my diamond paintings, but I wanted to try these out. The biggest reason why I wanted to try these out is because um, I have been using the um, pretty, hold on just a second, let me get it. For my long-term storage, I have been using these pretty photo boxes um, with the like card catalog filing system of um, drills. So there, this is an awesome system. Don't get me wrong. I love the system. It's nice, neat, pretty, all of that kind of thing. Um, however, I have been finding myself through the last few kits not wanting to kit down because I don't have, I ran out of cardstock to make new, you know, like if I don't ha already have a particular drill color. Um, uh, let me see if I can find it. I've got a box. Well, it's down there where I can't get to it right now, but there's a, I've got a Harbor Freight container box that has um, drills in it that I haven't already made up cards and, and have baggies for. So, um, and I find that when it's time to kit down, I'm not in the mood to pull out and make the cards up and get the baggies, which I don't really have enough baggies right now for any extras. I need to get some baggies. But anyway, um, I thought that I would try. I was looking online for storage containers that um, 
were inexpensive and that had a lot of containers. Like the Harbor Freight containers are awesome. They would be great for long-term storage. But if you think about it, by the time you have, there's 400 and some DMC colors. By the time you buy enough Harbor Freight containers um, to hold all of the DMC codes for long-term storage, you're talking like 12 or 13 boxes of, you know, Harbor Freight storage sets. And I just thought that was a little bit meh. Plus, that's, you know, you kind of have to double that if you're holding long-term storage for drills that are round and long-term storage for drills that are square. So, I thought that I would give this a try um, since I've never used them. I know that they're, these kind of get a bad rap because, um, well, if I can get one out of here. Um, these get a bad rap because they say that the the little flip tops don't hold good or the tops pop off too easy or whatever. But in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I'm only going to be getting into these to be putting drills away for long-term storage or when I'm needing to go into here to get some drills to replace bad drills or lost drills or spilled drills or whatever, you know. So I won't, it's not like I'll be in and out of these every day. So, even if they are a little bit um, flimsy or whatever, I really don't think that it'll be an issue. I could be wrong. I don't know. This one, I believe, had... Uh, I got the bigger one. I think this one holds 84 of these. I've seen some that hold 62 or 64, and then this one held... I can't get them out because I got these big, giant claws. Um, these hold... This one holds the 84 grid ones. I can't remember what company I got these from. I think it was SQ. It was on the wrapper um, from the beginning, but um, I'll be sure to link these in the description box below from Amazon. Thinking this set was like $11.99 or $12.99, um, but it did come with the extra little goodies. You have these labels here, which I'm assuming that these are going to, yeah, those are like quite a bit bigger than these containers. Um, so, you know, you could probably like cut those in half. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. Cut these in half to put like on this side because this side is the side that flips up, you know, if you can see that. So that would be my plan. Got interrupted by the UPS man. Okay. So anyway, I think what I was saying before I was interrupted was that these labels, you can use half of a label on here. Uh, could be wrong, but that's a, I think that's what I was talking about. Anyway, um, I did want to make sure to share this idea with you. I'm going to maybe give it a try. I do know that in order to um, have long-term storage for, you know, each... There are downsides and upsides, I guess is what I want to say. Like, because these containers are small, they're not going to hold near as much as, you know, a baggie. So, these may not work for me. I, I You know, I don't know how many is too many to hold on to, how many is too little to, you know. So, I think that it just really, sorry, the pop, the baby is playing with the dog, and she has this evil laugh that I don't, it's a really deep, growly, <laughs> kind of laugh. Cracks me up. She does it all the time. Poppy, leave her cheesy puffs alone. Okay. Anyway, that is my plan is to just try it out and see. I may end up going back from this to this, the storage box card catalog system. Um, but I thought that I would just give this a try. So, um, I don't really want, um, I want something that's easy to use. This is easy. It's pretty. However, I think that in order for it to be more user friendly, um, I should go through and make a card and a baggie for every single DMC. That way it's in here and I don't have to go looking for it or like make one up as I'm de-kitting. Because that can get a little bit annoying, especially if I'm not in the mood. And then what happens is, is I end up with a bunch of storage containers that are full of drills 
and I don't have another storage set to, you know, kit up another project. So if this does end up working and I do like this, I still will have to have a few um, sets because some of the DMCs, like 310s, I would want to have more than just one container of. Um, because, you know, 939 is another one. Um, those are just common uh, drill DMCs that, you know, we usually have a lot of. So, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear, see what I think. Um, and if this ends up working out better for me in the long run, then I will be sure to let you know about it. If it doesn't, then I'll just use this to kit up, you know, other projects. So, that'll be the plan. But I do like the storage container. I don't know what this little divot here is for, but that's kind of handy. That's kind of neat. It's like a grooved out space here. I don't I really know if that's just for design or if it's supposed to be some sort of functional thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to give it a try, see what I think. And if I end up liking it, I will let you know. Um, again, as far as how many of these I would have to have, you'd have to have a few still. Um, if I can figure out how to close this thing, right? Not, oh, it wasn't shut all the way. There we go. So, um, it doesn't have like a carrying handle or anything, but that's not a problem. You know, I mean, there's this little tabby thing here, but um, I think that's just for hanging up like in stores. I don't know, but... Um, so anyway, I'll give it a try, see what I think. If you use the Tic Tac containers for long-term storage, um, let me know in the comments what you think of the system. Um, other than that, that's all I have for you today. So make sure to um, check the link out in the description if you're interested in these, or you know, I have other things listed in the description box. Um, Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that come out. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day and talk to you later.